Hello guys, Randy here coming at you with a brand new tutorial this week and we are going to learn about colors. So how to find color inspiration and as I was creating this tutorial I realized well there is already a bunch of information available right from Canva for us to learn about colors and to learn about color theory and find color inspiration. So why don't I create a series? Like I'm going to create a two part tutorial. Today is the first part and today we are going to explore all the resources available in the Canva universe. So what Canva has in store for us in order to learn more about colors, color theories and find inspiration with colors. And then next week in the second part of this series, I'm going to show you some tools outside some resources outside of Canva in order for you to learn more about colors and to create color palettes and find color inspiration. All right, so let's start today with the tools available for us within Canva. So for this, we are going to head over to canva.com slash colors, right? This is a brand new section that Canva recently redesigned it didn't used to look like this uh, canva.com slash colors you would uh, eventually learn uh, you would eventually land sorry on the this part of the website that says color meaning so I'm going to click on it to show you this is what this page uh, canva.com slash colors used to look like a couple of weeks ago only but now they recently uh, augmented this section of their website and they gave us more tools more options to learn about color. So let's go over them and let's see what they are. Okay, so uh, this page says find the perfect color tools and resources for any project from color palettes to everything you could ever want to learn about color. And this is true guys, they really did a good job at uh, giving us information about colors right here. Uh, they understood that color is a huge part of graphic design so they want you to learn about this and they provide the resources to do so so let's go over the four tools here those are four sub pages of the canva.com slash color section all right so the first one is a color palette generator so you can upload a photo and we will use the use to create your palette so let's see how this works Okay, so this is not a new tool. Uh, this tool has been on the Canva website for as long as I can remember. But uh, this tool is pretty useful if you work a lot with images, all right? So the, the way this works is that you will upload one of your photos and Canva will extract five different hues here, five different colors, give you their hex codes. So this is going to be pretty useful if you want to, if you are working with a specific visual, for example, for your design, and you want to create a color palette that will be consistent and that will work well with this specific image. So let's try it. I have two images here on my desktop. I'm gonna show you the images. So this one, I typed in summer in Unsplash to find it. And this one typed in fall to find it, okay? So let's upload each of these two um, images and see what kind of color palette Canva generates from them, all right? So let's upload the first one, Summer. There, and look at what Canva generates here. It's pretty faithful to my image, in, of course. So uh, from there, you can already simply click on the color to copy it to your uh, clip, uh, clip how does it called? How do you call this one? Like a clip, clip part, a clipboard. Sorry, I, I don't know exactly, but this basically will gonna is going to be copied in your cache memory so that you can later go to Canva. Let's open a random canvas right here, and then go to colors. I will add one, and I'm going going to simply Control V, and it's going to paste my tomato color here. So tomato, because this is how Canva calls this color tomato. If I want to copy the dark cyan, so I'll just use it like this, copy, then go here, add plus, and add my second color to have the cyan color, all right? So this is very useful. It extracts actual uh, color palette from a photo. Let me show you with the second photo I have. Upload another image with the fall collection right here. 
and you will see that Canva is going to extract nice colors that match my photo. So that's the first tool I wanted to show you guys. That's the color palette generator. Okay, so let's go back to the color page. All right, the second tool they have for us is the color palette ideas. So they mentioned that this is the ultimate inspiration for stunning color combinations. So let's click on that. So here, basically what we have is a huge collection of color palettes. So these are pre-assembled color palettes from Canva, from designers and contributors of the Canva platform. Uh, they all have a name, they all have like a number of people liking them. So this could be very interesting just for you to find one and start designing with one. You can see 99 pages here. So there's a huge collection of palettes. This is not like extraordinary because you can find similar websites uh, and we will talk about this in the second part of this tutorial. But uh, it's always nice to not have to reinvent the wheel, just browse through them like quickly like this until you find one that you like and just use it for your design. So once you have one that you like, let's say you like this green kind of degradé here, like gradient of green. So I'm going to use this Northern Lights. And then similarly, you can simply, nice photo right here, you can simply click on the color to copy it to your clipboard. And then I don't know if this is called a clipboard, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, and then I use the plus button here and simply control V or command V on a Mac. And then you have the first color from, let me close this window from here. So forest green, if I want the lime green, similarly copy it here, going to add another color, control V and here's the lime green. So this is pretty cool. It gives you it gives you a bunch of color palettes. Uh, it gives you a bunch of related combinations, which is always nice. And then you can use this uh, directly. Basically, this button is to drive you back into Canva, open one of the uh, designs. So you can love you can love you can heart this uh, color palette if you wish. So this is pretty interesting as well. So going back to the color page right here. So this was the second tool, the color palette ideas. The third tool is the color wheel. So the color wheel is the latest addition to this color section of the Canva website because I didn't see this a couple of weeks ago. So this is new. Uh, color wheel want to know what color look good together. Canva's color wheel makes color combination easy. So you start with finding a color. Okay, so you can basically select on the wheel. Uh, any color you like. All right, so that's really up to you. Or you can pick a color by the hex code. So for me, those of you who follow me, then you know that I use this yellow in my branding. So I can simply copy this uh, yellow color here to have some kind of information about this yellow color. So I can use this drop down list right here to find complementary colors, monochromatic, analogous, triadic, tetradic, uh, etc. So I can use different uh, options right here to see suggestions of colors. Okay, if I want like complementary colors and you know the story behind why I chose this yellow color uh, for my branding is because my platform of choice is Facebook. As many of you know, my Facebook group is my main hub for my community about Canva. So I was looking for a color that would be of maximum contrast with the Facebook colors. So that's why and that's how I came up with this yellow right here because I wanted my profile picture to pop really from the platform. So and, and I guess this confirms me I didn't go through this at the time I was uh, choosing this yellow color but uh, Canva just confirms to me now that this yellow is actually very complementary to a dark blue, which is very similar to the blue of Facebook. Uh, it's a little bit too bright for the Facebook blue, but you get the idea. Like this yellow is kind of like the opposite of the, the blue that I found on Facebook. So it's very complementary. It, it's a high contrast. Uh, what else do we have? We have analogous. We have monochromatic. That is if you want to create some kind of like um, flat design with some shades and stuff like that. You can use this monochromatic options to find 
kind of like a shade of your um, initial color. So this is pretty cool. And once you have selected what you want here, uh, first Canva gives you a bit of theory about color. I'm not going to go over all of this, but you can, you can read it to better understand um, hues, to better understand what monochromatic, triadic, um, analogous colors mean and how to use the, the wheel here, but it's pretty straightforward. Uh, and then when, once you have your colors, you can do a couple of things. You can, for example, let me show you if I select triadic, I can export this palette. So let's do this. They give me basically one option so far is PDF. They say CSS is coming soon, but I'm going to show you what it looks like once it's exported. So I can save it now as a PDF if I want. And then I have the, the three colors with all the references so that I can easily communicate that to my designer or even to the person who is going to print my design if they need all these color information. So this is pretty useful. All right, let's come back um, to this. And this is the color wheel. This is the latest addition to the Canva uh, color tools, I would say. And then the last one, the color meaning right here, I'm going to click on this to show you, is simply a collection of different colors. And if you click on one, let's say, let's use this sea foam green right here. Canva is going to give you a bunch of information about this specific color. So what color is sea foam green? You can read this if you are interested. Is sea foam green? Uh, is sea foam green or blue? The history of sea foam green, etc., etc. And then they give you a bunch of colors that pair well with sea foam green. So that's also pretty useful. And similar colors to sea foam green. Okay. Um, so this is very interesting as well. You, uh, similarly to the color wheel, you have the analogous types of palettes the monochromatic so this is very useful for shapes for example if you want to go like creating gradients this is where you want to go like you select the first one the last one or you can even create more subtle gradients by using colors in the middle right here you have different color combination using this color so this is all very useful and again everything is just one click away like the hex codes are just one click away you see it's copied if i want this like neon green for example paste this in a design like very similarly to what i've done before i can copy it and and paste it directly in my design so this is very very useful all right and again you have the mono analogous complementary and triad and they recently augmented the number of colors here guys this used to be like three or four colors now they have one two three four five six seven colors so this is getting better and better all right, so that's what I wanted to show you about the tools available in the canva.com slash colors section. And then if you want to know more, you can even scroll and search for the blog post from Canva. So if you go to blog, you will find a bunch of articles about colors. So let me show you where to find them. They used to be right there in the canva.com slash colors. So for example, if you open the color wheel, I think I've seen them here in the footer or at the bottom here. Here they are. Okay, so if you scroll all the way down, you see here like four feature posts, 10 color inspiration secret only designers know about, 100 brilliant color combination and how to apply them, the history of psych and psychology of colors. So all these posts are very interesting and will really bring you some insights about colors, how to use them, what they mean. Uh, so this is very useful for creating your brand, for creating your brand style guide and choosing your color palette, basically. So that's all I had to show you for today. So again, how to access this gold mine of information about colors, canva.com slash colors, and you will land on this page. And from here, you can start learning about colors. So very cool, guys. Show me in the comments of this video your favorite color palette. Like, what do you like to design with? Do you have a color palette for your brand? please show me in the comments so we can share these resources. I can see what you guys are up to. And that's it for today. I hope you like this video. I will see you in the next one next week for the second part of this color tutorial.